becoming happy, an essential subject from Vinaypedia. We are acting in different ways to become happy, but we do not know that every step we are being defeated. We are fighting with the stringent laws of nature. To try to become happy by adjusting the material atmosphere is a useless endeavor. Indeed, it is impossible. The conditioned soul, eternally sleeping in darkness, does not understand his self-interest. He simply tries to become happy by making material adjustments, but this is impossible. By sense enjoyment, nobody can become happy, because we are in the material existence, and our senses are only material senses. Real senses are, actually, spiritual senses. So we have to awaken our spiritual consciousness. Then by spiritual senses we can become happy. A person practicing Krishna consciousness purely can be transferred to Krishna's abode in the spiritual sky, Galoka Vrindavana, where he will become eternally happy. Srila Prabhupada's books, lectures, conversations and letters offer a comprehensive presentation of this essential subject as seen in the Vinikot's Becoming Happy category. An introduction from his books is given below in the following 14 quotes. Quotes from Srila Prabhupada's books it is therefore said in our Mad BH Gavadam, Na Tividu SV Ritha Gadi Hibiyam, SB 7.5.31 Due to gross ignorance, the conditioned soul does not know that his real self-interest is to take shelter at the lotus feet of Lord Vidu. To try to become happy by adjusting the material atmosphere is a useless endeavor. Indeed, it is impossible. Our Mad BH Gavadam 5.6 19. The opulence of a person within this material world is estimated in terms of his exercise of the genitals and the tongue, or, in other words, how well he is able to utilize his sexual capacities and how well he is able to satisfy his fastidious taste by eating palatable dishes. Material advancement of civilization necessitates creating objects of enjoyment by mental concoction just to become happy on the basis of these two principles, pleasures for the genitals and pleasures for the tongue. K. A book, Chapter 88, For False Happiness They Try to Reach Other Planets, Either By Vedic Rituals Or By Spacecraft, But They Should Know For Certain That Any Amount Of Materialistic Adjustment For Becoming Happy In A Place Which Is Meant For Distress Cannot Benefit The Misguided Man Because, After All, The Whole Universe With All Its Paraphernalia Will Come To An End After A Certain Period, Then All Plans Of Materialistic Happiness Will Automatically Come To An End. The intelligent person therefore makes a plan to return home, back to Godhead. Our Mad BH Gavadam 2.2.27 Unfortunately, when this eternal relationship is disturbed, the living entity wants to become separately happy and thinks that the master is his order supplier. In this way there cannot be happiness, nor should the master cater to the desires of the servant. If he does, he is not the real master. The real master commands, you must do this and the real servant immediately obeys the order. Unless this relationship between the Supreme Lord and the subordinate living entity is established, there can be no real happiness. Our Mad BH Gavadam 7.1.6 The Supreme Lord is the supreme friend of everyone. However, no one can take advantage of the Supreme Friend's instructions while making his own plans to become happy and entangling himself in the modes of material nature. When there is creation, the living entities take on different forms according to past desires. This means that all the species or forms of life are simultaneously created. Darwin's theory stating that no human being existed from the beginning but that humans evolved after many, many years is simply a nonsensical theory. Our Mad BH Gavadam 4.28, 53, although the living entities are part and parcel of the Supreme Lord and are therefore in a transcendental position, they are still suffering in this material world and struggling for existence due to the mind and the senses. To get out of this false struggle for existence and become happy in the material world, one has to control the mind and senses and be detached from material conditions. One should never neglect austerities and penances. One should always perform them. Our Mad BH Gavadam 5.6.3 In Kali Yuga, which is full of dress and demons, the Brahminical culture is lost and can be revived only by the chanting of the Ma Mantra. Therefore the Kaya Consciousness Movement, or the Hair Kaya Movement, has been inaugurated to revive Brahminical culture very easily so that people may become happy and peaceful in this life and prepare for elevation in the next. Our Mad BH Gavadam 7.2, 11, this is the characteristic of Avayava, Paradukha Dukh, Avayava is always unhappy to see the conditioned souls unhappy, otherwise, he would have no business teaching them how to become happy. In materialistic life, people must certainly engage in activities of animosity. 
Materialistic life is therefore compared to Saasrati Binawa, a blazing forest fire that automatically takes place. Our Mad BH Gavadam 8.7. 39. From the Bhagavad Gita it is understood that one does not die with the annihilation of his body. Nahan Yathan Yam Niare, BG 2.20. The annihilation of one body involves changing to another. Tath Dentara PRT, BG 2.13. Therefore, to perform irresponsible activities in the material world is very dangerous. Without knowledge of the spirit soul and its transmigration, people are lured by the material energy to engage in many such activities as if one could become happy simply by dint of material knowledge, without reference to spiritual existence. Kaitanya Karatam Ta, DLL 7.119, one should be satisfied with whatever he achieves by his previous destiny, for discontent can never bring happiness. A person who is not self-controlled will not be happy even with possessing the three worlds. Our Mad BH Gavadam 8.19. 24. The entire material world is busy trying to attain happiness because happiness is the prerogative of the living being. Unfortunately, due to falling in contact with the material world, the living entity simply struggles for existence. Even if one becomes happy for a while, a very powerful enemy may plunder everything. There are many instances in which big businessmen suddenly become paupers in the street. Yet the nature of material existence is such that foolish people are attracted to these transactions and they forget the real business of self-realization. Our Mad BH Gavadam 5.13. 7. The mistaken living being, out of forgetfulness of this original condition of life, unnecessarily wastes time trying to become happy in the material world. The whole Vedic process is to remind one of this essential feature of life. The Lord offers the conditioned soul a material body for his so-called enjoyment, but if one does not come to his senses and enter into spiritual consciousness, the Lord again puts him in the unmanifested condition as it existed in the beginning of the creation. Our Mad BH Gavadam 3.5 26. Just as a boy is educated in order to become happy later, one should be educated in this life in order to attain an eternal and prosperous life after death. It is therefore essential that people follow what is given in the Ruddhas and SMTs to make sure that the human mission is successful. Our Mad BH Gavadam 4.18. 3. Devotional service is the only path by which one can achieve the Supreme Person. This is the only perfection accepted by all Vedic literature. Just as a poor man becomes happy upon receiving some treasure, when one attains to devotional service, his material pains are automatically vanquished. As one advances in devotional service, he attains love of Godhead, and as he advances in this love, he becomes free from all material bondage. Teachings of Lord Kaitanya, Chapter 5